Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Acer Predator Helios Neo 18 PHN 1871. To gain access to the internals of this big machine, you have to unscrew 13 Torx head screws. After that, raise the rear side by carefully lifting it while holding firmly the two plastic exhaust vents. Don't push too hard. The plate should be fully popped to the level of the Ethernet connector. Then, use a thin plastic tool to pry the rest of the panel, including the front side. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. There is a dedicated socket for the battery on the inside of the bottom panel that fixes the unit in place. We can also spot two metal plates with thermal pads for the SSDs. The notebook has a 90.61 watt hour battery. To take it out, unplug the connector from the motherboard and undo the two Phillips head screws that fix the model to the chassis. The capacity is enough for around 4 hours and 30 minutes of web browsing or 3 hours and 30 minutes of video playback. To achieve that, you have to apply the balanced preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu and select the Balanced and Optimus modes in the Acer Predator Sense app. The RAM zone is covered by a metal plate, and you can pop it with a lever tool. The shroud is additionally secured in place by the two central screws of the bottom plate, which is a clever solution. On the inside of the metal cap, Two thermal pads make contact with the memory modules as well as two more pads below the sticks. Good job, Acer. According to the manufacturer, the two SODIMs can handle up to 32 gigabytes of DDR5, 5600 megahertz memory in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 192 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. For storage, you get two M.2 slots for 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. RAID 0 is also supported. The big cooling solution has two fans. The one on the right is made of plastic and it's dedicated to the CPU. The metal Aeroblade 3D fan on the left is on the GPU side. Here we have a liquid metal on the CPU plus rectangular vector heat pipes that offer wider contact surfaces for better heat transfer. A pair of heat pipes is shared between the processor and the graphics card. We can spot an additional pipe for the CPU and two more for the graphics card, alongside four heat sinks and two large metal plates. The lower heat pipe on the left also makes contact with the chipset. 